New day, same shirt. Do I give a darn? No, it's comfy. In a world that sometimes likes to focus in the, the just, I forgot how this is. In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, the massage chairs at stores. Yesterday I talked about how I rigged the system at Costco and Hy-Vee and getting the free samples. Well, I feel like I've rigged the system when it comes to the massage chairs at stores, whether it be like Home Furniture or Becker Furniture World or any Burlington, no, that's not a furniture store. You know what I mean. They'll typically have like the demo massage chairs at their store and we all like to line up and go sit in them and get a free five minute massage. Well, I extend it to a good hour when I go there. In fact, I will plan to go to the mall by my house just for the sole purpose of sitting on one of those chairs for an extended period of time. The key to this is to go to the mall at a time that isn't very popular. I like to go Sunday nights. Nobody's trying to shop Sunday nights. They're getting depressed that Monday's coming, they're staying home, they're scrambling to finish their homework, their whatever work they need for Monday. Meanwhile, I'm going to the mall to not shop. First 10, 15 minutes are easy. I can just walk into the store and sit in one of the chairs and no one's gonna bat an eye that I've been there for about 10, 15 minutes. When you do walk in though, you do wanna try and avoid saying hi to anybody because then they recognize your face and then they'll realize how long you've been at that store. So I like to go in, like maybe with a hood up or something, a jacket on, then I'll lose the jacket jacket as soon as I sit in the chair. Um, and then I'll sit down and put it on demo mode. Um, I'll lean back, relax, and close my eyes. That way I don't have to look at anybody and I don't have to make it awkward. If my eyes are closed, they can't see me. It's like when you're playing hide and seek when you're a little kid, you would cover your face thinking that if you couldn't see your mom and dad, they can't see you. You do the same thing in one of those chairs. And then as soon as like a worker has the nerve to come up to you and say, hey, how can I help you? Are you enjoying the chair? Then you do have to make small talk. And you'd be like, you know what? I just sat down in this chair and I just had a few questions on it. And they'll, and they'll answer a few of the questions. And meanwhile, that's buying a few more minutes of time. You can push that to about 15-20 minutes in that chair. At that point though, you do need to move on to the next chair. Then you seem super interested in the chair next to it and be like, oh, I actually want to compare to see how that chair compares to this chair. So then you can get about 10-15 more minutes in that chair if you're lucky, if it's not busy. And then you just keep repeating until there's no chairs left. Luckily at the store um, that I go to, there's three different chairs. So I'm able to milk at minimum 10-15 minutes from each. So worst case scenario, I have a 30 minute free massage. Now that's pricey. If you're going to a massage place to get a 30 minute massage, that's uh, that's gonna set you back 100 bucks. I, I, I would assume I would never be willing to pay that much, so I don't know. But that's a lot of bang for your buck. And then if they're asking why you've been here so long, you just say, oh, I'm just waiting for so-and-so. They're going shopping. I'm not super interested in whatever they're buying. And then they'll understand. They'll be like, oh, okay, you're just a really nice dude and you're, and you, and you're driving whoever you need to drive to the mall and then they're more sympathetic to you. If you get lucky enough where a worker never comes up and talks to you, you can spend the night there basically. You can, you can push it over an hour until, you're just, until your own guilt just kicks in and you're like, you know what, I should probably go at this point. And then your muscles just turn to jello anyway because they've been getting kneaded and the Taiwanese pressure points have been exfoliated and then you're good to go. So there's my life hack for today, small business day number two. That's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.